What is up, YouTube? Okay, so I told you guys that there's been things going on in my life, and that I would tell you about it when I can. So, that's what mostly today's video is about. There are some other things, like uh, a new setup, and uh, see how this goes. So, about a week ago, I was uh, involved in an accident at work. Nobody was hurt, it didn't cost the company any money, but it did require me getting a breathalyzer to see if I was intoxicated with alcohol, and to take a drug test, which I passed both of them. Not a problem, but for some reason, and a lot of people, including most of my coworkers, thought a little unfair, a little unjust, I was forced to resign from my job. Uh, my two options were to be fired or resign. So, you know, that kind of put me in a pretty bad mood. Like, uh, that really hurt. Uh, basically, I found out later that my boss thought I was lying to him about the accident, and even after I explained myself, all I got in return from that was, well, that may be true. But the next day, since I didn't have work, I decided to get a small session in, uh, as you guys seen the video, and I ended up falling on glass within the first 15 minutes. I didn't even get to warm up yet, and I cut my hand pretty badly, and while you would think, well, that could be the, you know, the worst of it, turns out it actually gets even worse. I packed everything up and I went home. Uh, and one of the comments I seen from one of you guys was, um, maybe you got sick because of uh, the glass being, you know, dirty, getting infected. It's not that. It's I have this weird thing where, like, I'll pass out if I give blood. Um, I don't like the feeling of blood coming out of my body. It, not bleeding, just when it, in decent quantities. So if I cut my hand and I can wrap a paper towel around it, I'm fine. But if I cut my hand on a knife, and even though I don't need stitches or anything, I still start to feel sick from it. It's just a reaction. So like on the drive home, my hand was shaking really badly the whole way. And I get home, and that, you know, that's that. I let my hand heal, and yesterday, so that was about a week ago, and then hurting myself was the next day. Yesterday, I got hit up by John, you guys, I think I've seen him in one video, but my childhood best friend hit me up to skate, and I was so down. I said, dude, I really need this. I haven't been working in a week now. Uh, I really need to go out. So I went out. I was going to get in his truck, and we were going to go to the skate park. And he drove the hour down, and I started to unpack my car for, like, my camera gear, my tripod and everything. And I noticed my board wasn't in there. Uh, apparently, in the idea of me bleeding pretty badly and trying to get bandaged up, I remembered to grab all my camera equipment, but I left my board behind. So, real quick, if you guys are in the Scranton area and you skate West Scranton Skate Park, just look around a little bit for me. It is a primitive board, a Nahara Pro model, with a weird handboard graphic on the top, grip tape, and two grind rails uh, with Santa Cruz on them. If you guys see it, just let me know, please. Uh, when we went there, of course, my board was gone, uh, which, which is a bummer. It, it's not that big of a deal, but it, it was a bummer. Like, the rails on it were given to me for Christmas. While they're not expensive, I, I'm pretty sad. So, not only did I basically lose my job, hurt myself, then I lost my board. Uh, so, that's what I've been dealing with. The reason why I didn't tell you guys in the beginning is because today I had a job interview at another place where I'll actually be making more money. And I'm really looking forward to that. The guys who I'd be working with seem really great. The only thing that is going to affect this potentially is no longer am I going to be working five days a week. I'm going to be working six. So no longer will I have two days off. I'll have one and a half. So I will work Monday through Friday, nine hour days. And then on Saturday, I work five hours from 7.30 to 1.00. So I'm going to try my best to continue to get you guys three videos out, but there is a chance in the future that I must take the three videos and knock it down to two, sadly. It's just working 50 hours is really going to burn me out some days. So actually, I don't start for another five days. What I would like to try to do is like get three videos ahead, so then in case I would normally miss one, I won't, and just try to stay ahead as best as I can to try to get you guys three videos. But 
please, please don't hate me if I do miss one. If I miss one, it's probably going to be Wednesday, just because, you know, I work Monday through Saturday. But I can't complain, because guaranteed 10 hours of overtime is pretty hard to find, and that's pretty good money. So, definitely this summer, on like Saturday or Sundays, I want to start taking, well, mostly Sundays, some skate trips. I'm supposed to go up to a really large skate park up towards my friend John's house, because he always drives down here. So I want to drive up and go to that with him. There's a couple other places I want to go, and I'm really looking forward to that. But, basically, this was the setup I used yesterday. So, I didn't lose too much. I had the board, I had the grip, and I have two sets of wheels that are almost brand new. But, oh my god, these trucks. You guys won't be able to see them here. But, we're going to go over everything now. Uh, this is an 8.5 Revive Ryan Aim Super Villain deck. I have am grip on the top, and you guys seen the art videos for this. And on the bottom, what I got stuck skating yesterday was kind of a hybrid trucks. These are Feshbone. I don't know anything about the company. They were given to me a very long time ago, and they're so bad that I give a lot of my skateboard stuff away. A huge amount goes to friends or people who need it, and I've never had an issue doing that. But I always keep at least like one spare set for myself. So, these are so bad, I've never given them to someone. I gave them to Austin for a little while, and he, he got a full build later. But, well, he got a set of trucks off a friend. But I have legitimate hardware from a hardware store on here, because I took apart my cruiser board uh, just so I could have the pair of trucks. And these will go back on my filmer deck now. But this is two Feshbone trucks. The one base plate broke, so I have an independent base plate hooked with the fresh ah, Feshbone trucks. So I'm going to be using these ATM wheels now. They started at 52, they're roughly around 50, but they're not flat spotted yet. And I got to do a little looking around. I have almost a brand new set of Rictus somewhere around here that uh, I'll probably use those after these. The wheels aren't a big deal, but I definitely needed to pick up a new set of trucks. Definitely. So I went to you know, my local Zoomies because there's really no local skate parks around. Uh, not skate parks, skate shops. And I picked up 149 Black High Thunders. I've had red last time. The only thing that really, really sucks is I also picked up 1 inch Iron Horse hardware. I've always, always had Iron Horse hardware. Uh, the only thing that sucks is it's going to take me a while to get good at grinds again because now missing all the grooves that took a long time to put them in. But I'm going to try to take losing my board with a grain of salt. And one of the biggest things I was complaining about my old trucks was both of my bushings were blown out. Like, uh, actually top and bottom were fully squished and torn. So I couldn't keep my trucks at a specific tightness, and it just didn't feel right. Now, I planned on just changing the bushings, but, you know, change the trucks. And definitely, definitely, I'm excited. These are 149s which are made for, I believe, a 1.2, well, 1 point. They're made for an 8.15 board. I think so. Uh, this is an 8.5, but these should match pretty well to the board. I'm not gonna set this up on camera. I'm gonna end the video here because I don't want it to go too long. I just wanted to let you guys know the stuff that's going on in my life and uh, things that might happen in the future, like missing an upload. So I'm gonna set this up later. You guys will see it. I'm going to snap a quick photo of it, even though it's a little skated already. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Right after I'm done with this, I'm going to put on my GoPro and skate my spine. So definitely stay tuned for Saturday for the next video. And as always, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, have a great day. And as a Thank you for everyone who helped me through this tough time.